Welcome to the Horse Talk Show. Have you ever seen a horse who could talk? With your host, Louisa Barton, who really wants to be a famous rider. She really loves to ride fast. Presented by Peterson and Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care. The thing is, I have horses with people problems. Now here's the Brit on the bit, Louisa Barton. Enjoy the show. Larson Farms is our TV broadcast sponsor. Mr. Richard Larson, a man of great integrity, cares about every single bale of hay and about taking care of his customers. He also has a huge heart for those genuinely in need. Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Louisa Barton here with the Horse Talk Show, Equus Television and the Sky 97.3. I'm here with Dancing Pete Roder, my co-host and a couple of very good friends. We have a founding partner of the show here. Let's do a round of applause for the stage audience here. Woo! Woo! Yep, uh, we have Angie Ted O'Brien here from Seminole Feed Store. She has been with Seminole for over 25 years. And on this, our 10 year anniversary, I can say Seminole Feed Store has been with us since day one when we were on Florida Sports Talk Radio only. And we had two listeners, my mom and dad. <laughs> and Seminole sponsored us anyway. So, and they have been with us ever since. And, and to have the world's best feed by itself is just awesome angie i just want to say thank you so much thank we you really so. appreciate you guys uh it's an awesome show what you've brought to the horse community has been just phenomenal all the different places that uh that you've been able to visit and the people you've been able to interview the fun that you've had the um adventures that you've had in kentucky um you've you've just brought um a level to the horse community that we've not had before and so I think we, um, I want to say that we saw that, we saw that for a future, you know, saw that that was something that was needed here. And um, we wish you uh, all the best for your next 10. And I love the fact that having feed that has been made here in Ocala for like nearly 90 years, I think, and to know there's nothing else in that mill that can fall in your horse's feed. Uh, and it's all good stuff. And having a partner like that is amazing. Angie is a horsewoman herself. She's the only person I know who may be as busy as me. I see her everywhere. She's darting all over the place. You're a big into educating. We love yeah. that. I love yeah. the fact that you're educating next generations, that when you're busy, you're doing things that are just amazing. We, you know, I'm trying to do a lot of volunteering today, as a matter of fact, with FFA, helping judge their sub-district competition. But I just... Um, you know, it meant a lot to me. People um, people took time to invest in me, and so I'm just trying to pay that forward. Woohoo! You do, and we love you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for being an amazing representative. Thank you so and much. And then a newer partner here with me, a fellow Brit, and so we're going to do a fellow Brit I thing. We're going to have a cracker. <laughs> oh, I finally got one, but look, it's just so... Right. That's what it's supposed to do. That's be. the real smell, All see? Right. That means it's made <laughs> big one. And so this is a British tradition, and this is Neil from Ocala Dog Ranch, and this is the only place I would take my dogs in the world. Vroom, vroom. Because he looks after them, his staff is amazing, and not only that, but when uh, my dog was rehabbing and had to be walked five times a day, and I couldn't be there. Neil's staff <laughs> took really, really good care of Aslan. And you're one of a kind. You know I love you. You're amazing. And I'm so thankful um, for you. Am I blushing yet? No, but you should be. <laughs> you should be. Uh, now I need glasses because it's always a really corny British joke. Oh, how funny. Why couldn't the pony <laughs> sing a lullaby? Because he was a little horse. <laughs> yeah, a little horse. Joke, he was a little horse. That must be the only joke in these crackers. Yeah, right. um, Neil, thank you for being partners with us. We appreciate you so much. Well, thank you. I really appreciate everything you've done for us. I mean, it's a joy to take care of your dogs and watch you jet setting while we're working. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's fun. Uh, you've done a lot for us. You've done a lot for the dog community on, with the horse people. And due to you helping us last week, we were able to get almost 30 dogs adopted in Marion County. We were working with OHA and several other rescues 
the place was packed. I listened to your radio show on Saturday uh, Saturday morning, so now I know where all the people hide. <laughs> uh, so thank you, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure, and you're a great lady to work with. Thank you, oh. Janet's actually here with us from ninety-seven point three, the Sky, and people were driving in Ocala Dog Ranch in the morning, saying they heard it on the Sky, and he's like, "Hey, they heard it on the Sky. Imagine that." <laughs> <laughs> Dancing Pete Rhoda, I've known you for just over a year. Yes, ma'am. Nice to have you on board. Well, I. I'm enjoying it. I hope I get 10 years eventually with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on one. Oh, baby, it's a lifetime. <laughs> uh oh. And behind us, Santa Claus. Woohoo! The I real one. Uh, Merry Christmas <laughs> and congratulations to Horse Talk on 10 years. Amazing. Woohoo! Straight from not the horse's mouth, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Louise Santa. Martin here, very grateful for a long partnership, grateful for a newer partnership, and a great friend and a wonderful co host. 10 years, here we go to the next 10. Louisa Barton for the Horse Talk Show. Thank you for joining us on the Horse Talk Show presented by Peterson Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care. Thank you to Larson Farms, our television broadcast sponsor. Idaho's finest alfalfa. And Timothy. And customer service. And orchard. And delivery. And Betsy. And Betsy. <laughs> here you go. This is uh, Larson's finest right here. <laughs> Betsy Vuakwa and also here with us from Piranha. Ben Heatherly, not only Dancing a partner ben. with the Horse oh, Talk no. Show, Dancing <laughs> Ben, oh, <wrong. laughs> but also the presenting sponsor of our equine initiative. And actually, we are here at Olympian Sean Wardley's farm in the horse capital of the world for the equine meeting. Thank you to Ben, Tom, Kyle, and the entire team at Piranha, mm -hmm. because otherwise we wouldn't even be here doing all the things we're doing in the equine initiative. We're so grateful to Ben. Ben, known you for a while. You're yeah. an amazing guy. You're amazing, Louisa. And uh, without you, uh, this wouldn't be possible. Woohoo! Yeah. Thank you. It takes a village, though. All of this group are amazing. Am I'm I the so crazy grateful. guy in the village? You're the crazy guy in the village. <laughs> there has to be a crazy guy in the village, right? Always dancing, Pete. Always. That's right. Uh, ben, you've been a partner of the show, and we have just, we've just seen such amazing growth in, in where we've been. and where we go, what we can cover, and you guys make that possible. I'm thankful every year for you, for everything you do, the golf tournament, all the wonderful things that Piranha Life brings to the table, supporting our community. You guys make it happen, and it all started with you. Well, uh, no, it all started with you. <laughs> <laughs> I, met, I met you four years ago, and then when we joined the uh, CEP, um, that's where it had to be. And uh, you invited us to uh, be... Uh, a sponsor for the uh, Equine Initiative, and it's been a great ride. It's been a whirlwind, hasn't it? It has. <laughs> Lots more to come. Thank you for being with us. It's so important. Well, Betsy, you... we've had some times. Oh, my God. What does she say, Betsy, the, your favorite gun, your favorite truck, and your favorite... <laughs> Yeah, old Betsy. Old Betsy. Delma like and Louise. <laughs> like, like your favorite old gun, truck, or hunting dog. That's old right. Betsy. Just don't Betsy. put it in the golf cart. No. No. <laughs> no. no, no. I think it's the chase car. I, I think, think so, too. I what my responsibilities were. Yeah, Louisa and I have had our... Adventures. Big, big adventures. And I know that um, through her, Larson Farms were able to help a lot of people. Yes. And we went on some trips, didn't we? And they weren't all fun trips, by the way. Some of them were pretty troubling. A little scary. Mm -hmm. A little scary for sure. But, you know, we were able to meet so many people. We were able to help so many people. And what you do for us as a hay company is so appreciated in educating the consumers and the horse people and giving us all the chances to to meet more people to meet new faces to meet new horses and uh hook up and be just gives you those little you. fingly yeah, I know, yeah now we're, we're both crying all because yeah we've had a good time we've had an amazing time and and you know as i've been making some calls i was making some calls last night to some last and customers that were first time customers and everybody said the same thing my horses are eating this hay too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. Darn. Darn. <laughs> Keep it coming. I know. Yeah. And we won't mention any other names, but several of them had changed from another hay company because the hay was just not 
appealing to the horses and every one of them said the same thing. Customer service is amazing. Hay is amazing. There is no hay quite like it. The only problem I have is they eat it too fast. <laughs> That's not a problem. I love forage, you, my friend. Forage first. You're an amazing, amazing person. Thank you for some incredible times. And she has trekked down south after the hurricane back and forth with me four hours later. Hey, can we go again? And we got more hay and we went again. And, and that was a terrible, terrible time for so many people. But Larson Hay jumped in. So this and, one's the crazy one that came up with the idea. And, and this, this one made crazy it go enough through. to go with me. <laughs> And, and enabler. enabled her. Enabler. We I'm call the her enabler. the enabler, Betsy from Larson Hay. Yeah. I'm so thankful for all of you. I love you guys. You're amazing. You know, as a lot of people have sponsors, but not a lot of people have sponsors they can say they love and they're friends with. And I am so blessed to call you guys my family, and I love you both. So thank you. Feeling is mutual. Happy 10th anniversary here. What? Um, another 10. Lots more to come. You know that. And we're here at Sean Wardley's and so blessed to be at Sean and Lawrence today and have a chance to do this broadcast and celebrate uh, with them from really top equestrians in the world. So Louisa Barton here for the Horse Talk Show. This portion of the Horse Talk Show is brought to you by Peterson Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care, our television broadcast sponsor, Larson Hay. Idaho's finest alfalfa and supporting sponsors DAC Minerals and Vitamins, Seminole Feed Stores, Lip Chip, Piranha, Pat Myers Electric, Florida HVAC Services, and Ocala Dog Ranch. This show is brought to you in part by DAC Vitamins and Minerals of Florida. All horses need a solid immune system, excellent joint support, a healthy gut and DAC has all the vitamins and minerals they need with the NASC stamp of approval. So like them on Facebook now or go to feeddac.com. DAC, it makes a world of difference. Horsemen, are you tired of technology that doesn't fit your way of life? Lip Chip, built by horsemen, for horsemen, is ready to revolutionize your world. The answer is in the Hooflink system. Simply implant, scan, and unlock your horse's health information. From driving to Grand Prix jumping, all horses, all breeds, and all disciplines. The future is in the integrity and transparency of all horse sports, and in the safety of our horses. The future is here, and the future is Lip Chip. broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. Louisa Barton here with the Horse Talk Show presented this segment by Peterson Smith Equine Hospital in complete air. Thank you to Larson Farms, our television broadcast sponsor. Idaho's finest alfalfa. Johnson Pete Roder here. We have top equestrian Olympian Sean Wardley here with us. We're at his farm and we are absolutely thrilled to be here. And we have Maria Afoon. Will you help mm -hmm. me? Because Maria Afoon. Thank you. We're the Kiwis That's from it. New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. There they are. Mm -hmm. uh, Midnight Rose Equestrian, massage for horses and people. Best in the world, in my opinion. Working on dogs next. That's right. Dogs next. Sean, thanks for having us here. Thanks for coming. You've had an extremely exciting career. You're still having an extremely yeah. exciting career. So is your beautiful wife, Lauren. She's having a great career. Lauren. She is Lauren is, yeah, she's doing great. Um, I hear that there is a new dark-coloured horse in the barn we should be looking out for. 
Very nice. That's a new one. His name's Champion League. He was second in the Grand Prix the other night. Ooh. Our, our first uh, FEI Grand Prix. So he's, he's really good. Very exciting. Hi, right, you're looking forward to seeing what great things you might do with this one. Good horses I've ever had, I think. Really? Yeah. What breed is he? Uh, he's a German bred horse. Mm. Then how long has he been here? Uh, just, just a couple of months. Exciting. Seeing you say that. Yeah, I bought him from a friend of mine. And uh, I don't want yeah, to it's know. a very exciting horse. Actually, I did. That's cool. What? Now, tell us a little bit about Lauren. She's got some exciting potential things happening. Yeah. She has a fantastic horse. She's um, on the shortlist for the, for the Olympic Games next year, which is good. She was a little birdie told me that. Yeah. A little English birdie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, she pulled me in. Yeah. She also said you were on the podium four times. Ooh. I had a good week. You had yeah. a good week. We were I was the bridesmaid four times. <laughs> we win one, I got but I got fourth or uh, four times second, I think. Three times second and third. We had a good week. That's good. nice. Yeah. yeah, I'll take yeah. it. What exciting stuff do you have coming in 2024? You've got two beautiful little yeah. children that are just... Mm. They're cute. <laughs> Very cute. They're adorable. Uh, yes, we have the children. The daughters are fun. Uh, got some good horses, as we said. We've got children, good horses. We've got some exciting projects going on with our, um, <laughs> our property development company and our arena building company. That, that's got some exciting projects going on. We're going to be building. We, we did the renovations at the at the Hits Horse Show here. Oh wow! Congratulations. Yeah, well, that was good. We did that uh, last year, and then so in this next coming year, we're doing a uh, another big renovation, we're building a beautiful big Grand Prix ring there at Hits. So that's on the on the cards for. I guess they know what you're. They know you know what you're doing. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. We've done we've done all the Hits renovations recently. We did Sobrities in New York. We did a, a big renovation there, and, and we did Ocala here a year ago, and that's going on well. So it's funny because I've seen your signs everywhere, and so when we were looking for the farm, I was like, I didn't, I didn't think this was because <laughs> yeah. we've seen yeah. your signs all over well, town. You should have a sign. Up. Yeah, I know advice can get you a good sign. Mm. There are a few here. Right? Yeah, that's fine, guys. You know me. Yeah, right. Good sign. I can connect you. <laughs> These are really? facts. These are facts. That's yes. why we are connected, and she's connected us with everybody. Yeah. Our that's lovely British fair. fairy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's right. I like to do that. Oh, thank you so much for having us here today. No you very welcome. It was beautiful. Thank you for sharing with us your new venture. It's exciting. I think it's really needed. I think realtors out there need to know that there is really a go-to place. They can send people and know they're in the best possible hands. Yeah, and the reliable people that you're not just going to have on your team. You want quality and people that are going to do what they say yeah, they're going to do. That, that's the aim of the game, that we can have high-end, good quality Providers for for everything to do with an equine farm. That, as I said before, building it from scratch is what we're really into. Do. Designing the property, building the house, the barn, the riding arena, the driveways, the landscaping, designing everything, uh, just to try to create a, a wonderful environment. For all the it's like an oasis here. That's what I was telling the girls. I was like, I love how it's so easily set up so that you can get to all the training areas yeah. without like all the drama. Yeah. And jump in the pool. Yeah, exactly. Jump in the pool. This, yeah, this this is a really conference space for us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're building a house just just uh, in the woods just over there. We have uh, 20 acres there, mm. so we're going to build a house my over there. My friend through this week, yeah. right past here and waved at the horses. <laughs> when my Mustang was at Jackie and Nick Demerics, mm. I was riding around the track, and then Jackie and I rode right past here. And oh, yeah. I saw suddenly all well-known horses and went, oh, I know who they are. <laughs> and then we rode into the woods. But hopefully, you'll still ride us right in the woods. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're, gonna have, we're gonna have a we've got a trail all the way around the development that's um oh, that's 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 just under two miles long to trail right around there. so it's gonna be beautiful lovely mm. love it. sean this has been an amazing time i think some incredible connections have been made today and i think we're gonna we maybe have some future plans but i'm hoping Ooh. we can get underway that would be yeah, huge very exciting when you took what you could be the biggest thing <laughs> And we can't tell you what that is yet, but we're working on it's something exciting. really big. It's exciting. Luis always has the best <laughs> ideas. Yes. Yeah, well, I would say this is our best meeting as far as the surroundings. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Excellent. And like clockwork, people came out were riding out there, which was extra special. It was like, it just fit, you know? Well, you're always welcome. 
We don't lock the place. The bar's always stacked. So. <laughs> I'll, I'll just bring my hands. I'll bring my hands. It'll have you seen where we're Yeah, and yeah. it's oh well, that's fantastic, and we really appreciate you. It's a, yeah. it's a pleasure to get to know you. I'm so glad we connected you with so many people, and mm. and they've connected with you. So hopefully, moving forward, we can see what this all brings. But I think it's good stuff. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> and love to see Lauren make it to the Olympics. So I hope it's fantastic. Yeah, me too. So she represent New Zealand, Australia. Australia. So she's from Australia. She's Australia. I'm New Zealand. So okay. we're sort of our arch enemies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've learned my lesson. You don't tell tell a Kiwi that they're Australian. You don't tell an Australian they're a Kiwi. So I was born in Australia, so I can kind of. Mm. Oh. The old, I can. <laughs> you do either way. Yeah, yeah. Great. I wish you'd be careful saying that on TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we can. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Really excited to continue to get to know you guys and your beautiful yes. family and, and everything you have going here. It's wonderful. Yes. Maria, Midnight Rose Equestrian. Hello. We massage you and your horse. Best ever. Sean Hall, we so grateful to have made friends, made some made many wonderful connections today. Just being able to celebrate 10 years here with him. Yay. And Pete, you know Pete. <laughs> Dances, we love it. Dancing, I want to see this dance. Oh, oh okay. That's coming, coming soon. That'll be on the blooper reel. Louisa Barton for the horse talk show here. Louisa Barton here for the horse talk show with dancing Pete Roder, my co-host, and we are celebrating our 10-year anniversary at the farm of Sean and Lauren Wardley, Olympian. Exciting to be here and very excited to have our very good friend George here with us from Gentle Carousel Miniature Therapy Horses. George. Congratulations Thank on you. 10 years. <laughs> I just want to say that uh, I think Ocala and Marion County is better for having you here. 10 years of love uh, to the community, but also to the horse world. What you do for horses and what you do for horse people has been fantastic, and we've seen it in action. Thank you. I love what you do. I love you and Debbie. Thank you so much for being such great people here. We need you so much. Gentle Carousel Miniature Therapy Horses is your thinking. Towards the end of this year, it may be making a donation to a 501c3. I cannot vouch for a better organization for everything that they do within equine education, within rehab, therapy, hospitals, hospice. Sometimes people take in their last breath. They are making a difference with every little horse that they own, and we are so blessed to have them. So please check them out. Gentle Carousel Miniature Therapy Horses. Louisa Barton for the Horse Talk Show. This portion of the Horse Talk Show is brought to you by Peterson Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care, our television broadcast sponsor, Larson Hay, Idaho's finest alfalfa, and supporting sponsors, DAC Minerals and Vitamins, Seminole Feed Stores, Lip Chip, Piranha, Pat Myers Electric, Florida HVAC Services, and Ocala Dog Ranch. Faulty wiring is the leading cause of barn fires. I'm Pat with Pat Myers Electric. Equine facilities have special electrical needs. The knowledgeable and licensed team of electricians at Pat Myers Electric will ensure that you can achieve your vision for a beautiful, safe, and functional horse facility. From new construction to rewiring and updating, the Pat Myers Electric team is ready to jump in and help keep your horses safe. With a small farm of our own, we truly understand the unique concerns of the horse owner. Don't take chances. For all your current barn needs, go to patmyerselectric.com. This show is brought to you in part by Seminole Feed Stores, family owned since 1934. Manufacturing fixed formula horse feeds with mindful monitoring and quality ingredients right here in Ocala in an all natural, non medicated feed mill. Seminole Feed, simply the world's best and safest feed. Like them on Facebook now or find them at SeminoleFeed.com. <laughs> <laughs> Piranha! Oh no! All the humanity! Oh, Piranha. Peterson and Smith Equine Hospital and Complete Care seeks to be a leading international veterinary practice that provides state-of-the-art veterinary care 
to their patients while fostering professional relationships with their clients that stand the test of time. For 24-7 and the best in equine care, check out Peterson and Smith at petersonsmith.com or like them on Facebook now for more information. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. Welcome to the Horse Talk Show with your host, Louisa Martin! Woo! And her sidekick, Dancing Pete. That was oh, wow. Good. <laughs> I like that. Hey, you know that voice, right? Louisa Martin here with Dancing Pete Rhoda. And we have Kevin Rizzo. You never heard of a Dancing Pete? <laughs> that That's good. good. Are we? He's been the Ke voice. Are we Ke Kevin's yeah. the voice the of the horse talk show. For 10 years. For 10 years. Because you right now. heard of a talking horse? <clears throat> <laughs> wow. Frog in your throat? <clears throat> no, I'm a little horse. A <laughs> little horse. So this, this is a special gift for mm -hmm. me because I get to meet who yeah. started Louisa Barton with the horse talk show. Kind of, yes. Yeah. So tell sure. me how you guys met. Well, the first time it was Tack Shack. Right? It was can Tack we say, Shack. Can we mention? We can Shack? say yeah. that. Yes, we, it was Tack Shack. Can we say it again? Tack Shack. <laughs> Tack Shack of Ocala. Of Ocala. Ah, uh, yeah. You were doing commercials. I was at trying. W T R S. Can we say that? I don't know what we could say. <laughs> I know we, we can, can say. I know that. we can curse. <laughs> say whatever we want, but I don't know about sponsors. We can say T R S for okay. sure. Sure. I did. I came in to record a commercial, and we were in that little room, and I was so nervous because I had never recorded commercials before. I was like, okay, Kevin, uh, I have my script, but can you please leave? Because I don't want you to watch me yeah. because I pull funny faces when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> what she doesn't know is everybody told me that. They, they all told me to leave, and they still do. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. no. But so he did. one day I just left and never, never came back. I never came back. He was so kind to me, though. He knew I was kind of new at it, and and that must be twelve years ago. It must be. So whose idea? Aren't you glad we still not... look the same? Yes. <laughs> so whose <laughs> idea so was fashion. it to start the horse talk show? Huh? Whose was idea? Adam. Ridden. That was Adam. Yes. Yeah, I was recording a commercial with him at Florida Sports Talk, and he said, "In the beginning, you should do Adam. a show." Yes. And I said, "About what?" And he said, "Horses." And I went, "Okay, I'll think about it." And, and she then thought I thought about it, and here she is. Saturday Ten morning. years later. No makeup, yoga pants, early Saturday mornings, live on Florida Sports. But Sports enough Sports. about me. <laughs> <laughs> or were we talking about Pete? No, <laughs> no we were talking about <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> it was really live, though. And it, it was, was just live. radio. Just radio. And remember, afterwards, you used to stay and load it to SoundCloud for I me did, so yeah. that it would be like, like podcast. This. Yeah, just, just like, like this. That. You do that. That's about it. <laughs> Take out the boobies. Those were the days. They were, like weren't they? Florida Sports Talk. It was uh, It was exciting. It was. They were, yeah, yeah, it was cool. You were nervous. I was terribly nervous. No, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. But you, <laughs> you were nervous. I was nervous, wasn't I? I was a wreck. I used like, to have fact, pages I, of notes. I'm just used to not being here. I'm used to doing what Isaac does. Well, yeah. So, Isaac test, does check, <laughs> test, <laughs> test, <laughs> check. Is this on? Is this check. On? That, that's we all you used to do. <laughs> we did lots. Well, it was all about audio then, because that was back. It was all about back. audio. It, back that in was the back day. in the day before there was before even television was Facebook Live. Free. Yeah, where the wheel, <laughs> they just invented the wheel and then they the did wheel. radio. Yeah, the wagon wheel. My daughter, Megan, used to hold her phone when Facebook Live started being a thing. Yes. And she always said, Mom, I have such shaky hands. And she would stand in the studio, bless her heart, and mm -hmm. hold the phone so we could be on Facebook Live when I that started. Now, I thought yes. that was an old person thing. But <laughs> With yeah, an, a we, uh, <laughs> that was, though, before Facebook, it was Periscope, wasn't it? Remember? It was, that? Yes. That, that it was weird. way back when. Yes, Periscope. you're right. Periscope. That sounds like Is it. there even a Periscope? So how many like years of radio did thing. you do before you got into television? Mm, uh, let's see. Since, oh, yeah. I don't know if I want to say that. But, yeah, since a long time. 90. -ish. 90 ish. Mm, yes. You know, the 1900. And yeah. And then, and then how did you bring her, her into the TV? How long yeah. did she do the radio? We didn't. We she, just did radio. She came in for the 
radio. Tech, oh, tech so you guys just did the radio show. Yes. Okay. Correct. Yeah, because yeah, the first year. It snowballed. It did, well, didn't it? <laughs> over it did. several, over a decade. Over a decade, yeah. But, so who was your first guest? Pat Pirelli. Yeah. And, and why, yes. why did we choose Pat Pirelli? Because I didn't know what to say. And I knew that he could talk. Can you, imagine? <laughs> Can you guys imagine? Louisa didn't know what to say. Yeah, I don't know what to say. That's crazy. Uh, Kevin knows a side of you we do not right, know. Right, right. <laughs> the quiet, shy. Yeah, the quiet and shy. I'm partially responsible. You are. <laughs> Sorry. You pulled the extrovert out of the introvert. <laughs> Can I tell Sorry. you, I'm going to tell you, Kevin Rizzo has the personality where if you're a nervous wreck, and have never done something before, there's no way he's not going to make it funny. And his Saturday morning <laughs> jokes and funny moments got me through terrible butterflies, terrible mm. speechless butterflies. Speech? Well, most are. Yes. He would do mostly oh, yeah. speechless, yes. Well, that's interesting because most of our guests, when they come on, that are nervous and shy, you've obviously taken your inner Kevin and <laughs> brought it out because everybody goes, wow, that was so much fun. Can, can I come back? It's my inner Kevin. Kevin. It's her inner Kevin. I have an inner Kevin. I'm an outer Kevin. <laughs> Are you an innie or an outie? Right. <laughs> he, he, and on the breaks, if I had a, like a segment where I was just like, you know, like, let's say a guest didn't answer the phone because they weren't in the studio, they were on the phone. He had them plug through to the board <laughs> back in. Yes, this is know, Billy Bob. <laughs> so, so if a guest for some reason didn't answer, we couldn't reach them, which happens sometimes. Yes. I would have to fill that segment live on mm -hmm. my own. And so he would say something very jovial during the breaks because that's just Kevin. Mike Smith isn't available. <laughs> He's riding some horse. <laughs> He's winning some horse. track yeah. some somewhere. Track. Yes. And we would fill that segment with banter because he banter. kept me. Banter. That's relaxed. where I learned English. Yes, you did I learn mean, English. Yes. British banter. Yes, I learned how to say vitamins. As oh, so wait a minute. I'm not the only one that does this. this. Aluminium. I forgot that. Oh, did, my did gosh. Forget that one. Yeah, lots progress. of progress. Progress. Yeah, yeah, lots of progress. Process. Process. We're going through the process of process. making progress. Yeah. <laughs> she, she has some trouble with some English words. Mm. Well, those are really Ophthalmologist funny. is one of her hardest ones. Very funny. <laughs> and then we That's went big. One. We moved into that other room and we had Facebook Live and we had like a real studio yes, that desk. That was a nice studio. With and real in the other room. wood panel stick on flooring yes it was very nice Real. wasn't it and then we went big and that was uh, that was a big deal when we went to facebook live and uh mm -hmm. things kind of changed didn't they did so change. he got me in the step in the right direction of getting ready for tv because that was getting me ready for equus television where we are today and 97.3 the sky which is a very listen can to. Can we mention the sky? We can say we the can, sky. We can mention we can. the sky. We can say the sky. So now ten years, and and just to make everybody chuckle, I um I brought the original, uh the jacket with the original that. logo. Yes. Wow. Uh, and the logo behind us, as you can see, is very different. Um, but this was the temporary little. Mm -hmm. logo because we were just going to do this for looks a like few a, months it looks like a simpsons <laughs> character know, is that you or is that a... that's me hmm. that's me okay um and yes that was a long time ago so kevin the reason i wanted to have you here in the studio yeah, for why? this very why special 10-year show was to say thank you because you really did get me going keep me going make me laugh, get me through the rough times. And I don't think 10 years later, we'd be where we were if you weren't who you are. Well. So I'm, for that, I wanted to say so, thank you to my okay, friend. I'm, thank you, gosh. Um, you're welcome, how about that? I'd have left after the first show without you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, I'd have run off. Yeah, you would have. I would. You were, you were nervous. So you do were, you still watch scary. the show? Do I still watch the show? I watch it religiously. <laughs> Like wow, every, he's a good liar. Every time. <laughs> he knew who you Sunday, were. Someday I'll yeah. catch up on it. No, That's nice. I do watch it from time to time. Thank you. Like right before this interview. So how are we doing? So I'm right now? your sidekick. We're oh, stupendous. You're, oh, you're great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she's all right. <laughs> oh, she, of course she's all right. Yeah. He puts up that goes without saying. But Pete's, uh, yeah. You went to Rodeo 
Clown College. Is that correct? <laughs> that's what I, that's what everybody thinks I did. Right. All my friends go, we were at the rodeo and this guy wasn't that funny. You'd be way better at it. Why don't you do yeah, that? And I'm like, there you go. You should. Thanks. Well, the, Keep it live. the clock is ticking, so we have to it's wrap red. up. It's red. It turned red. Kevin Rizzo, thank you. You're welcome. We love your Louisa. voice. We appreciate Lou. you very much. I can call you Lou. Lou. Yes, you can. <laughs> Lou, that's what we called you back then. That's right. Here's to the next 10 years. Yes. Love having Kevin here to celebrate. Louisa Martin here for the Horse Talk Show with Dancing Pete Roder and Kevin Rizzo. Welcome back to the Horse Talk Show. Have you ever heard of a horse that could talk? Listen to this. With your host, Louisa Barton. She's literally in love with every horse. Presented by Palm Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience. She's back in the saddle again. And now here's your host. Pretty, pretty. Louisa Barton. She's a Brit. She's got the gift of the gas. And her guests are fab. Larson Farms is our TV broadcast sponsor. Mr. Richard Larson, a man of great integrity, cares about every single bale of hay and about taking care of his customers. He also has a huge heart for those genuinely in need. Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. Hey there, horsemen. Are you tired of technology that doesn't fit your way of life? Lipchip is ready to revolutionize your barn. Built by horsemen, for horsemen. Lipchip knows how you ride. If you're tired of carrying around paperwork, dealing with long trailer lines, and juggling all your horse's details while trying to compete, then the answer is the Hooflink system. Simply implant, scan, and unlock. Each scan reveals everything you need to work, compete, and to protect your horses. View current health paperwork, pre-register for your next event, and even check in on your horse's health. Horsemen, let's keep our horses safe and make our lives at the barn a little easier. The the future is here, and the future is lip chip. This show is brought to you in part by DAC Vitamins and Minerals of Florida. All horses need a solid immune system, excellent joint support, a healthy gut, and DAC has all the vitamins and minerals they need with the NASC stamp of approval. So like them on Facebook now, or go to feeddac.com. DAC. It makes a world of difference. This hour of the Horse Talk Show is presented by Palm Chevrolet in Ocala, where the entire team is committed to making your experience in sales and service hassle-free and easier than ever with no games or gimmicks. Come in and visit on Southwest College Road or online at palmchevrolet.com. A second-to-none experience with all the amenities. Palm Chevy, find new roads. The Equine Performance and Innovative Center, situated on 30 pristine acres in the horse capital of the world, is one of the finest and most complete conditioning and rehab centers for equines and canines in the nation, including an equine hyperbaric chamber, aqua pacer, water treadmill, cold water leg spa, equine swimming pool, Eurosizer, and more. Epic equine veterinarians specializing in rehab and conditioning. For more information, go to epcrehab.com or find them on social media. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. I'm Louisa Barton with the Horse Talk Show and Equus Television, and I am sitting here with a friend of mine, Tommy Turner. He is the founder and owner of Equifence, and he's actually here doing a project at my farm, sort of a rescue mission. We're going to talk more about that in later segments, but right now I just want to thank Tommy very much. Tommy, thank you for being here with us. We'd like to learn a bit about your background first, um, because we'd like to know a little bit about your experience in fencing. So. Oh. Tell us kind of how it all started and how the dream came true to have your own fencing company. So what I would like to thank many ag fence guys, um, we get started in our younger ages building on our own farms. 
um, working for family, and then um, you know it becomes just a thing that you learn, and then you you know progress through the years and uh, start venturing off doing other people's farms mm -hmm. and helping out other people, mm -hmm. and then you know then it leads into well hey I'll pay you to come do this. <laughs> And then, uh, you know, you, so then you start going, well, maybe I can make some money. Out of it. Yeah. And, and then it leads into you need a crew, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I started my I started my first venture when I was 16, um, still in high school, did that for a little while. And then about 15 years ago, decided that um, let's go ahead and do it again and do it on a professional level again and, and uh, try and make a living at it. And 15 years later, here we are. And in the horse capital of the world, and, good place hey, to be. When I when I was I, I was hauling horses at the time, and um, I was driving 11, 12 days. I'd come back into town, work three or four days building fence, go back out on the road. I did that for about a year until I could get enough clientele established, get my name out there, and then um, um, decided to go ahead and make the move and got some equipment and and uh, hired a full crew not just myself and somebody I could find to help me. <laughs> and uh, so since then, we've just been, we've been doing it, growing every day. It's awesome. So we're gonna talk a little bit later in other segments about my disaster situation that you had to come in and fix. Disaster. Uh, disaster, yes, good that's word, a, uh, a very good word. Understatement. Apt and fitting, yes, understatement. But speak a little bit to us about why that years and years of experience that you've had is so important. And, you know, I, I think, as you said, you said ag fencing, all fencing matters, right? I mean, it, it matters. All but horses matters. seem to be destined to get themselves into trouble Absolutely. Absolutely. if they can. And so we don't like to give them an opportunity to find something that could be a problem or be dangerous. So. If you'll kind of just speak to the fact that experience really matters with all fencing, but even more so really with horse fencing well, to I keep think our, goes, our four-legged safe, right? It goes deeper than that, really. So me being a horseman for, for years growing up on horse farms and you know, working with horses and seeing all the possible problems that could be um, has really been a blessing for me, huge benefit, because I know what the problems could be down the road and and just having that knowledge and and being able to i don't want to say see the future but see what could see happen. what could happen yes. you know the, mm -hmm. the it, potential it, problems it helps to build to stop those problems early and um you know the the, the horse fencing ag fencing safety is is number one strength being right there with it because you don't want something that's just going to fall over um, like mine you mean correct <laughs> like like yours <laughs> like 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 yours yes um so yeah so being safe using the proper materials is 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 key in the horse industry and building a proper fence to keep your horse safe behind right and actually, I didn't know that about you. I didn't know that you used to ship horses. So if you used to ship horses, you've seen anything that can happen in a situation yep. where you have an animal confined. An offense is designed to confine your animal. If so can, you've, you've had that experience. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, um, I mean, just quick. So at five years old, my mom and I went and wrote my first pony out of a field for $20. And if I wanted to ride it, I had to break it at five years old. So being around horses, it's been all my life, you know, from breaking and training, uh, shipping horses, hauling, you know, hauling horses all over the country, um, and then moving in into the fence industry. It's, it's really carried through for me. Yeah, so you get it. Oh, absolutely. That's absolutely. so important. I didn't know that about you, and I'm so glad I asked that because for me as a horse owner and for people I know who would be interested in using your fencing services, they would want to know that. They would want to know that you've handled them, loaded them, shipped them, seen what they can get into if they care to. I have some <laughs> stories about on the road. Mm. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> so that experience is really priceless and that helps Absolutely. you with the safety element. And as you said, it's so important, proper materials, um, properly installed, um, 
safe. And then with the current cost of fencing materials, longevity plays into that as well because nobody can afford to need to replace their fencing in a six or 12 months at the cost that it is. And, and I just want to say for personal endorsement sake here that when I sold my farm in Citra, it was five and a half years from when you installed it. Did the original install. Did the original install and it was still in the same condition. It was when you installed it and looked like it had years left. I would hope it would. And it was impressive. And actually, at one point, I even had a tree fall on it, and it, it knocked some of the wire out, you know, because obviously it was a huge tree. But the fence itself actually remained standing with the tree falling on it. So that's um, there's something to be said. Can't ask for much more than that. You really can't. You really can't. Thank you, Tommy, for sharing that with us. Yeah, no problem. I am here with Tommy Turner from Equifence, Louisa Barton here for the Horse Talk Show and Equus Television. So I am here now with Dancing Pete Roda. Woohoo! I have Tommy Turner from Equifence. And I have Bubbles from JNS Pressure Washing. And we are at Sean Wardley's farm in the horse capital of the world. And Tommy, you saved me. I did. You did. You came in like a knight on a white horse. In shining armor. Yes. Okay. In shining armor. <laughs> dented armor, perhaps. Dented. It like, was dented. You taught me how to ride a bobcat. Yes. Pound a post in. Yep. She drove a, drove a post. I did. Yeah. Thank you for being the fencing king. You're welcome. Thank you for coming to me at a time when I had massive anxiety about what was going on at the property that I had a fence that had to come down and you came in and saved the day. It's fixed. I know. It's good. My horses can come home. Are they home yet? They're going to be. Nice. This weekend. Awesome. Yeah. Woohoo! Love it. Yeah. Tommy Turner, Echo Fence, a new partner of the show. We're thrilled to have him on board. We're celebrating our 10 year anniversary today here. And actually, we're here really because of Tommy. He introduced me to Sean. And I had met Sean in passing, but I was the annoying media person that wanted to interview him and he just wanted to run away and ride horses. You could have so, stopped with annoying. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Blue for real. Yeah. No, it's live, but keep going. <laughs> and then JNS pressure washing. Bubbles. The from the horse's mouth. Yep. Yeah. Fortunate to have you with us. Thank you. Also, I brought my little, my little foals <laughs> in the back. I can stand up and say hi. Foals. You can wait. <laughs> um, you washed it. We took it down because it was not pressure treated and it was old. And then we had it put back up and it wasn't usable as a fence. So it was washed and taken down and that was put back up. But yeah, he, he, said he could wash it. He can wash it again. He said he came in on a white horse, or white knight, like on a horse, but he did come in on bubbles. <laughs> that's, you missed that. That's just been weird, man. <laughs> hey, I'm a, I'm a talking horse. What's not weird? Yeah. Exactly. We, we've, we've gone past deep, worse. So yeah. We'll, like we'll stop right there, right guys. There, guys. <laughs> yeah. Do uh, you mind if I take this off now? Uh, <laughs> Ooh, the unveiling. Joel from JNS Fresh Watching. <laughs> it's all been here. We're it's celebrating fun. 10 years. I'm grateful years. for you both. Uh, newer partners, but grateful to have you. And here's to the next 10. Sure. Louisa Barton, Dancing Feet Rover, Horse Talk Show. Thank you to the presenting sponsor of this portion of the Horse Talk Show, Palm Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience. Thank you to our TV broadcast sponsor, Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. Also, thank you to supporting sponsors, Nirvana Medical Spa, TT Distributors, Summit Joint Performance, Equigreen, Midnight Rose Equestrian, the Florida Horse Park, Horse Farms Forever, and the Equine Performance and Innovative Center. This show is brought to you in part by Seminole Feed Stores, family owned since 1934. Manufacturing fixed formula horse feeds with mindful monitoring and quality ingredients right here in Ocala in an all natural, non medicated feed mill. Seminole Feed, simply the world's best and safest feed. Like them on Facebook now or find them at SeminoleFeed.com.
My name is Dr. Natalie Solomon. I formulated Equigreen with cutting edge science and technology alongside the passion that is represented by a lifelong love of horses. I created a product that I would trust for my horses because they deserve nothing but the best for their bodies. Horses rely on us to take care of them, to love them, to respect them. This is how Equigreen came to life. Equigreen, CBD for your horse that you can trust. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. Louisa Barton here with the Horse Talk Show and Equus Television, and I am here with Tommy Turner from Equifence. Also have Olympic Equestrian Sean Wardley here. We're here at his very beautiful uh, facility. We've been talking a little bit about fencing. We've been talking about um, ethical companies and, and the difficulties that people come across. Honestly, <laughs> I can speak for myself. Even if you live here and you're a, you're a local, you can end up um, using a contractor or a handyman um, that doesn't do what they say. You can uh, end up using somebody that doesn't do the job right or that takes your money and, and runs. You can come across so many issues. So also being new here, becoming such an international destination now in the horse capital of the world, especially since World Equestrian Center, people coming from all over the world, people coming from other states, and not just to lease here for a short time over the winter season anymore, but in fact to buy properties. Some of them may be buying a fixer upper, sometimes maybe a piece of land that they're going to build on, and they sort of don't know where to begin. They don't know how to find ethical folks. They don't know how to find the right people. They don't even know if they're reliable. Maybe there's even a language barrier in some of the, in some of the issues that arise. So Sean was telling me um, before this a little bit about what they're doing to really help people um, get in here, get integrated, get introduced to the right people um, and be kind of sure that there is a good ethical practice in these businesses. Mm, yeah. So I think this is fantastic and so needed. Yeah, yeah. So it's called the Equine Design and Development Group. So it's, it's basically like a club of and a group of companies all under the one banner that uh, are a turnkey solution for building out a farm. So we have anything from builders, engineers, finance people, uh, architects, draftsmen, fences, irrigation people, arena people, pasture people, you name it, everything from start to finish um, is involved in our group. And so we, we make that, we endeavor to make that process from raw land or, or a fixer upper into that sort of um, person's dream farm. And it, it's, it's not an easy thing to do anywhere, let alone in a place that you are just moving to. Right. Um, and there's been such a, a boom here in Ocala that a lot of the fixer-upper places are already sold. So there's just not mu much on the market. So inevitably people are going to have to buy raw land and build their dream farm. So um, it's, that's why we created that. And to be a part of that group, um, you know, we don't, it, it's, it's something where that company needs to be ethical. They need to do a really good job. They need to work within all of the group of people. But it's, the, the, the key to this is that it's, if you have your own architect, for example, you're free to use the other resources that we have. It's not that, it's not, um, it's not, uh, like, it's not like a general right. contractor, right. for example. It, it's not a business at all. It's right. a, a committed group of contractors that all work well together as a resource center, and we've named it. So it's just an interesting concept that I think can really help real estate agents because real estate agents in this town are always asked the questions, yes. which builder should we use? Yes. Which fencer should we use? Which arena company should we use? So it's, uh, you, you can, you know, real estate agents can can give a reference of this collective, you know, yeah, of people. That's wonderful. So, yeah. so it could be full service really from everything from the ground up or you mm -hmm. can pick and choose. And as you said, if you already have somebody, 
Mm -hmm. um, you know, that, that maybe you have a relationship with and you trust, that's okay, you can use them, but maybe yeah. the other 10 or 12, you don't. So you Correct, you may not you have a fencer and you may not have an irrigation person. So at least we can give those contacts. Um, uh, or you may want a complete turnkey. I mean, we've got amazing designers who design equestrian pro properties and, and build equestrian properties throughout the world. So, and they're all committed to this group here in Ocala. That's so fantastic. it's an exciting project. I think so too. I think mm. so needed. And mm -hmm. having had a bad experience myself, Tommy came to the rescue. Um, Tommy, talk about how, is, what, what, how you feel about this group. You feel like this is something that's really needed. You and I have talked a little bit about how we need some ordinances on fencing and, and some control there because it's kind of a little bit out of control in, in some ways. But so nobody can get taken advantage of and, and actually gets the product that they're paying for and expecting. Absolutely. It's important for you to be part of this group. When Sharon approached me with it, it was an amazing idea to be able to have the one stop, be able to go to a website and have a discussion with people that are um, very reliable and um, and, and I like and the, the word the, collective the, because you work together. Absolutely, like you're, absolutely. If you use everybody in that group, everybody in that group works together really well. If you use really five of them, they work together really well, right? Correct. <laughs> yeah. It makes sense to do it because as, as, as contractors, we can communicate with each other right. and be able to schedule and plan. And I, like you were saying earlier, you know, for the, for the people coming in and just moving into the area, having that that collective resource. resources yeah. at hand is huge. Is oh, huge. I would yeah. love it. I mean, I would love yeah. it to come move to a new place and go, oh, I can get it all in one, one sure. shop, sure. which is fantastic. And those Absolutely. people are already used to working with each other. So it's not like I've got to introduce my fence guy to my mm. irrigation guy here. Sure. Would you two get together and talk about where things are going to be? Whereas you've already worked together and, and know each other. So that's exactly. a win-win. Exactly. You know? And it's not with this collective, it's not that it's a one contract. Right. You're contracted right. to the fencer and to right. the irrigation pit. Like yeah. you're you're contracting with who you want to contract with. Who but, you choose, right. But they're all working together. Exactly. And you know, if you've ever been on a on a construction site, people generally are working in different directions. Yes. But the the beauty about this collective is that all of the contractors working on it have a commitment to each other that the client has a seamless experience. Yeah. And that's the unique part, because if the fencer is late and that holds up the driveway guy yeah. or vice versa, exactly. then there's a problem. So there's an extra motivation for everybody in this collective to work together. Seamless and at the end, is a good se word. Seamlessly. seamlessly. And at the end, the end result is hopefully a, a happy, happy customer. Absolutely. Mm. And I do believe, you know, and not to not to talk about the negative, but I do believe new people here do have concerns because they don't know anybody, you know, mm -hmm. and they don't know where to turn to get sure. that help. So I think, you know, on, on no, feeling comfortable that people know each other and can and really can give a good endorsement for one another because that's, that's important, sure. you know, knowing sure. that you can trust somebody and and that's important. So. And tell us one more time the name of it and how we can find out more information. Okay, well, we've just created the website at the moment, which I'll, I'll forward you the, 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 the website. It's called the Equine Design and Collect... Sorry, the Equine Design and Build Collective. I love that. That's mm. fantastic. And, uh, uh, the, sorry, the Equine Design and Development Collective. There you go. Yeah. It's a big name. You need to change. And it's very new. It's very <laughs> new. It's well, very I, new. we went around so many different names, you're not going to do this, that... <laughs> Every name that I just said was proposed. So that was a name that one said. Yeah, yeah that's cool. So it's the Equine Design and Development Collective. But I think that's yeah. an excellent. I can't tell you how mm. much I think. I've even talked to people, you know, prior to talking to you that were like, oh, that's really needed here. Mm. And it really is. And I yeah. think for, as you said, a lot of the properties have been bought up. So people are going to be looking for land and will have to start from scratch. Yeah. And when you have to start from scratch, it can be overwhelming. So. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Right. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Sean. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us here today. Uh, the property is gorgeous. Great. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. Louisa Barton here for the Horse Talk Show and Equus Television. Thank you to the presenting sponsor of this portion of the Horse Talk Show, Palm Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience. Thank you to our TV broadcast sponsor, Larson Farms, Idaho's finest alfalfa. Also, thank you to supporting sponsors, Nirvana Medical Spa, TT Distributors, Summit Joint Performance, Equigreen, Midnight Rose Equestrian, the Florida Horse Park, Horse Farms Forever, and the Equine Performance and Innovative Center. <laughs>
The equine performance and innovative center situated on 30 pristine acres in the horse capital of the world is one of the finest and most complete conditioning and rehab centers for equines and canines in the nation, including an equine hyperbaric chamber, aqua pacer, water treadmill, cold water leg spa, equine swimming pool, Eurosizer and more. Epic equine veterinarians specializing in rehab and conditioning. For more information, go to epcrehab.com or find them on social media. This show was brought to you in part by TT Distributors, dedicated to bringing their customers the largest selection of quality horse supplements, products, and farrier supplies in Florida at affordable prices. Also online at ttdistributors.com. The Horse Talk Show broadcasts from the CEP's equine studios in downtown Ocala in the horse capital. Hi, this is Hall of Fame jockey Mike Smith. We're listening to the Horse Talk Show. Louisa Barton here for the Horse Talk Show, presented by Palm Chevrolet, your hometown Chevy experience. Thank you to Larson Farms, our television broadcast sponsor. Idaho's finest alfalfa. Louisa Barton here with co-host dancing Pete Rodo from Complimentary Horsemanship and special guests here. And you know, one of the places I hear the most that people listen to the show is 97.3 The Sky. Woo-hoo. And I have Janet from 97.3 The Sky right here, friend of mine, known for a long time. And they celebrated our 10 years on air this morning. I was very excited to hear that, yep. Janet. Yep. You know, when we first connected and you said, hey, you know, your show should be on the sky. Yeah. That was a really yeah. good idea. It was. It was. We a little, took a little convincing, but you finally uh, you finally fell in line. And then now you realize <laughs> this is great. We're with the sky. We're with Odyssey. We're streaming nationwide and actually internationally. Yeah. Wow. We have a lot of international listeners and yep. comments in the show. And and even the other day when Neil had it had the event with um, uh, with the um, Open Hands Animal Rescue, People were pulling in his driveway for the event going, yeah, we heard it on the sky this morning. Yeah. He was you like, go. the sky. Yeah. yeah. So I it's effective. It yeah. It's and huge. have been here for so long, and I'll never forget the day I tried to convince you to come to work for us. And <laughs> you said no, and then there you go, and you started your own talk show, and everything has just continued to blossom. And I just admire you. Thank you. I'm so blessed to be on such a wonderful station that's so listened to and so popular. And when my truck was wrapped before I had my accident, I must have been stopped an average of 20 times a day from people saying, I listen to you on the sky. <laughs> and they saw the wrap and I was like, really, you do? Oh, OK, great. Thank you. And they knew who I was because I had the wrap, you know, on the truck. But I got stopped so many times a day. And I still to this day here, I'll be somewhere and someone will go, are you on the sky? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, can't they're miss, like, oh, I'd never miss that, yeah, you know. Can't so, miss voice, you know, you have your own brand. You've done a fabulous job, and we're so proud and honored to have you. Thank you. Ten years. Ooh. It's really amazing. Yeah. And then a newer partner of ours, who I'm so fortunate to call a dear friend, also. Like I said, I'm just blessed that I don't just have partners. I have real friends. I have Sarah Myers here from Pat Myers Electric. There is no other electrician in the world I can recommend. They are off the charts. They have done so much work for me and for Pete and they are amazing and not just that but they're horse people too so they kind (laughs) of like know what they're doing in the barn which is really important Sarah thank you for being a partner of the show thank you thank you for having us here tonight we had a great day and another great CEP meeting here and I can say for the sky and Louisa you know she's been so instrumental in helping us get the word out about our business and what we can do to help people And we just had someone call us the other day and they said, oh, well, the reason we called you was because my husband listens to the horse talk show on the sky every Saturday morning. And they said you're the best. So that's why you're here. So, yes, the sky is a big deal. I'm just going to tell you it's a big deal. Sarah, thank you. Thank you for having us. I, I say it again. I mean, it's just been a blessing this year to meet you and get to know you. And, um, it's just, everyone's, Everyone's better for having you in their life. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. We, we need That's to get it. Sarah on with Pat. I yeah. know. She, she can actually like talk. It. I know, right? Woo. Meticulous work. Pat will come and do a walkthrough, a no judgment zone, we call it. Yeah. 
Um, he'll walk through your barn, tell you if there's any dangers he sees. You're not ob obligated to repair anything. But how wonderful to have that safeguard that, you know, your horses are safe. You don't have to worry about a fire and you can get those electrical things checked and hopefully taken care of too. And Very they also do houses. They do, so they yeah. Don't just do yeah. residential, yeah. right? Yeah. That's so if you have a house, <laughs> and you want to talk about professionally done and done right, great customer service and horse people riding at Kimberden. I cheer her on all the time. <laughs> your connection as well, so. I love seeing that and your donkeys. <laughs> yes, and our donkeys. I love these guys. So grateful for them. Celebrate. Got to meet Lauren for the first time today. Love her to bits. Her children are adorable. This is such a perfect venue to be at. I just want to thank you so much, Lauren, for letting us be here today and then take over your space and meet your family. And it's just been such a wonderful time. Thank you. Oh, thank you. It's been lovely having you guys here. So anytime, you're welcome Don't back. Say that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, your husband said that and we're like already planning like, a trip. Too, yeah. You might find us camped out here. It's kind of a nice view out there. You, know? you potentially could be an Olympian. Fingers crossed. All the fingers. <laughs> All yeah. the fingers. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. Even, even to think that a possibility is huge. Yeah, I mean, it's just been the most exciting journey. So, I mean, when, uh, when I got selected on the team to qualify Australia for the Olympics, that was like a dream come true. And to go over to Europe and uh, have that experience in Australia qualified first, um, that was very surreal. So hopefully we, yeah, we might be at Paris in August next year. We might have the first interview with an Olympian. <laughs> you won't forget us, will you? <laughs> She's going to say, oh, we can't do interviews now. I'm an Olympian. When you're the big time, don't forget us. Yeah. Just, just remember I promise. your little people here in Ocala. We're really excited for you. That's oh, awesome. Thank you. Amazing thank you. that you and your husband are both such top equestrians. You're able to do it together, raise a beautiful family, and have a place like this. And really genuine, awesome. nice people. Yeah. I mean, when you have these pe many people come to your farm and you're that generous, that's. Yeah. And when you're at that level, that's huge yeah. in my book. Oh, thank well, you. thank you. I mean, we've had an amazing time having you guys here, so we feel just as fortunate. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yay. Dr. Esther Brumman here on the other side. Uh, recently got your office, new office open here, Horse Country yeah. Chiropractic. I've seen absolute miracles uh, with this with this doctor, with this lady. She is amazing. Thank you for being Thank a you. show partner. We're so grateful. You've done so much for my dog. I'm so fortunate to know you and thankful. Blessing. And glad you're on board as a CEP partner and we're excited yeah. to have you and it just gets better. Yeah. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Aslan Thank you. has come such a long way, recommended by the veterinarian to continue his treatment with Dr. Esther Brummond, and he is running over the jumps now. <laughs> running over the jumps. <laughs> the Cavaletti are now up, <laughs> and he is uh, wow. almost 100% sound, so I am absolutely thrilled uh, to have known Dr. Esther Brummond and got to know her, and her, her clinic is now open. Her and her husband, Johan, have horse country chiropractic, and we're excited. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I can't check out yet. I got your tip of the week. That's right. <laughs> Dancing Pete's tip of the week. Dancing Pete's tip of the week brought to you by Complimentary Horsemanship. So tip of the week is kind of like what we just talked about is I always say when I go to teach, I make a triangle and I say, where do you want to stand on the triangle? I want to stand on the top of the triangle looking away from the triangle because if you extend those two lines out, that means I'm a beginner and I have everything in front of me. When you call yourself an expert, you turn around and you face that line in front of you. And when you see a true expert, they usually have very little to learn. And that's usually when you say, Isaac, get the camera on him because that next horse is going to teach him something. So when you get around people like you that still say, oh, I'm not that good, that's because you still have lots to learn because when you get to that level, you realize how much there is to learn. Because I'm sitting there looking at you and go, wow, you know everything because of what you can do with the horses. Where you're going, oh no, you should see my husband. He's got all this and I'm sure he has somebody. <laughs> so always be a beginner because that means you have everything to learn instead of being an expert and then you have very little to learn. That's my tip of the week.
So this show, we celebrated 10 years. years. We started out at a tiny little station called Florida Sports Talk. And it actually ran NBC for a while, and it ran Fox for a while. So I actually had a business card with NBC on it for a while, and one with Fox Sports on it for a while. So it looked really big, but it really wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> then Janet Forbes stole me from the Sky 97.3, and then it was big, and it was huge. And then, you know, Facebook Live, that. And then that Equus television. television said, we're starting a new subscription-free TV station, the only subscription-free equine TV, and we want you to be the first show on it. Wow. So then I had to do my hair and makeup. <laughs> I didn't do it today, by the way. Um, but it was big. And now at the end of 10 years, we're so excited to look forward to the next decade to wish you Merry Christmas because we're in Christmas month and to say how awesome it is to have 10 years. I'm so thankful for Dancing Pete. I am so thankful for Isaac and Kylie. I have the best team. I'm mm -hmm. so thankful to have people that love what they do and do it so well and want to continue to learn more. And, that and, we, is and we want to thank you for putting us in those positions because yeah. without you, we wouldn't be here. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you all. And at that, I want to say thank you to Bev, an English lady I haven't met yet. Isaac picked these up for me, but she has Bev, Bev's Bakery and she can make your cookies with with logos on. Woohoo! <laughs> Do your next time. <laughs> Whether you're in Ocala, Marion County, the horse capital of the world, happy horsing around till the same time next week. <laughs>